Coba kita selesai misinya. Eater dia di atas, kacau bro. Sini, learn more about Aether's condition. Cari tahu ini ya tentang kondisinya si Aether. Let's go. No, Stephen. That filthy herb grubber will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen. So we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. I'll do. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine, and that unfortunately we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Okay, what's the deal with the herb? Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. Then what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. I can help. I think I can help. You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Covid Island. Yang mana itu baru aja kita kunjungin sebelumnya. So kalau Aether nggak selamat, satu-satunya saksi mata hilang gitu ya. Tapi kalau kita selamatin dia, mungkin hubungan kita bisa baik ya. Dia nggak maafin gue kan? Oke, mari kita pergi cari obat untuk dia. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh, she's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Margaret needs to rest. She's running herself into the ground because of those damned renegades. Okay, I understand. But this really is an emergency. Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? Do we have a visitor, Gerard? Oh, have you're you lying. It's a peacekeeper. What does it matter? What does it matter? Is a peacekeeper's life of less value? Listen, you arrogant little shit. Your people call healers like Margaret witches. People fear healers when they could be helping people. Then one wrong move and you peacekeepers are quick to hang them. So you ask if a peacekeeper's life is worth less? It is to me. Worth less, far as I'm concerned. I'm not a peacekeeper. Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. Okay, sebentar, guys. Itu layar gua masih kabur nih. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. 
He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blame again? Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb. Despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life. But took my eyes. Matt? Does it mean you'll help me? Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this. I assure you. Okay, guys, kita tunggu sampai malam ya. Jadi ini tanaman hanya bisa kita petik di malam hari. Tunggu sampai dia bercahaya. Dan nggak boleh ambil yang gede karena yang gede itu katanya beracun, guys. Lokasinya tadi kita sempat dikasih tahu oleh lawan. Cuma yang jelas, kalau dari ibu-ibu yang tadi dia bilang uh, tanaman ini tuh tumbuh di tempat yang beracun lah. Tapi sebelum pergi, gue mau crafting ini dulu, guys. Molotov. In case gue diserang rame-rame nih, gue bisa lempar ini sama ini. Oke. Okay. Mari kita pergi, guys. Aduh, ada holor di sana lagi. Gua lari sekencang-kencang ya. Sebelah sana. Tuh gua bunuh aja holor ya. It's not working. Kalian pergi, 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 pergi. Cepat, 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 cepat. 
Espera. Satu lagi, satu lagi. Oh ini, ini. Dan, 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 dan. Bye, bye. He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. Kita jujur apa kita tahu? Jujur aja lah. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from him! I can him. give him an injection to stabilize him. But it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mack had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! Kita kasih yang kecil ya. I refuse to give. Kita kasih yang kecil, yang gede soalnya racun. Come on. Oh, nice. It works. How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I, I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Hmm. Ke side questnya si Aether udah selesai guys So sekarang yang akan kita lakukan kita ngobrol sama si Jack Matt Lanjutin quest utamanya Aether Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you Aether's back on his feet If it wasn't for you He'd still be in a coma Or worse Glad he's better Me too Only he knows what happened in old Philidor And soon kita nggak bisa kasih tahu aja yang sebenarnya sebelum Ether yang kasih tahu ya. Coba. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? Kita kasih tau dia aja kalau misalnya kita cari saudara perempuan kita. Dia tanya kenapa gue pengen banget cari database ini. Emang di dalam database ini tuh ada apa? Gua jujur aja ya. I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. 
We picked up the trail of one of them right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another until you get the answers you're looking for. Oh, dia mau bantuin gua. Nice. Dia kan bantu ya sampai kita ketemu informasi yang kita butuhkan. So, kenapa scientist-nya si GRE ini mereka GRE ini sebut GRE in hiding. They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran at night, in secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Oh. Okay. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. How can I be certain you'll help me? I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, kita bilang kita akan bantu dia. I'm in. Good. The butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Si Jack ini kayaknya batuk-batuk mulu guys. Gua curiga dia sakit nih. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned, but for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan, so there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. 
the plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on his schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Logger, you can logger from branches here. What's one do for fun? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rayner is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Okay. Matt's not gonna be happy. Digam because it's Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Katanya gue gak punya schedule, gak punya jadwal sama Juan, dan dia gak mau kasih tau Juan lagi ada di mana. Aiden, getting settled in the city? Working on it. Myra and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you. From Meyer and the commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. <laughs> including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He hasn't an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Kita ancam dia aja gimana? Ancam aja deh. How about a court martial? Matt can do that, right? A court martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army? 
provided with weapons and clothing. A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... All right, listen. I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. Okay. So you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. <coughs> Returning to more pressing matters. And what should we Fail. Try? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Gua harus ngobrol sekarang sama lawan. Itu gagal ya, ngeselin si Juan. Ini apa nih? Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> He doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Okay, jadi kita mau swap si Juan dengan kasih dia barang berharga. Cuma barang berharganya kita akan ambil dari penthouse ya. 